Botanica and we're 1800. We're back here now with our botanical gardens, and I think I found a, a, a well a suitable solution for our music pavilion problem that we have here right now. So let me just have a look at that. So we have a pathway now around this compound here, and when I now have my botanical uh, my music pavilion, it fits to the street, so I have the same tiles, the number of tiles, and if I build it here now, you don't Such really see that it's entry. uneven. You know, even well if you look really closely probably but I think I kind of solved the problem like this a bit at least um, it still baffles me though that they really thought about this tile size here is a good thing they should have enlarged it a bit or made, made it a bit smaller so we could fit it in more um, perfectly in here but we can't do that because the tiles are not enough but perhaps you have a better layout um, solution and show it to me and then I'm eager to actually use it. So music will set the theme for your cultural buildings. Try to choose one that goes well with your exhibits. And let's have a look at that. We don't have any music options at the moment, so we also need to collect them. The same with the, plan uh, the plots here that we have there. Okay, so at the moment, nothing here that we can choose. What I want to do is perhaps we get those botanical um, items also from the treasure hunts. So I'm also going to continue with those treasure hunts in Cape Trelawney for now. So I'm just waiting for the legendary ones. Of course, we can reroll. We have lots. And there we have some artifacts again for Cape Trelawney. So let's have one. And let's get the second one there. Let's get a second one there right away. Cape Trelawney is what I'm looking for. That's the new world. Oh, and there was one that just clicked it away. That's the new world there too. Old world. Oh, this is taking its time. And animals, Cape Trelawney, perfect. Let's do that too. So we got those two. And yep, it's a small island again. We should see it then at some point. And the small one again. Yep, there it is. So I think it's this one here once again. There it is already, I think. So let's send the ship there and get those legendary items out of it. I hope it's legendary anyway. Very good. What day is it actually? What daytime? It's 18 o'clock. So we're getting to nighttime again at some point now. And what is also working again, which didn't work before, is now that we can upgrade those plots and they're actually showing up. There was a, quite an annoying bug there. And then we can continue here with that beautiful museum, which we kind of neglected in the past couple of episodes. So that's just one of them again. It has a beautiful place then in the middle. I like that. And of course also the zoo, which is just looking pitiful at this point. It has nothing around it, so we definitely also need to look at that. But before I continue with those things, well, let's reap the rewards for our exhibition that we have here. So Modest Botanical Exhibition event completed the best trip of my life by far. A sublime outstanding experience and we got the highest reward there and let's see what it is. Camellia Garden, so that's um, a building permit. The Yellow Lotus, which can actually be equipped in the in the Botanical Garden, and the Rhododendron. Part of the set Near East, also for the Botanical Gardens. Perfect, so three beautiful items there. And before I continue here, we should upgrade more um, of my investors to, uh, my engineers to investors. So here we have another block ready that wants that and I think also here yeah they can also be upgraded there perfect that's more influence again even though I would have already noticed it that um, the botanical guard actually doesn't cost me any influence look at that so they are all not costing us a, uh, a single influence point there okay and now we can actually use those items there so what we got we got plants in this one here I think and there it should be somewhere here. So we got the mosaic paving there. That's a good one. And then probably over here somewhere. Oh, that's a strange one. So where is my... Where's the reward for that? The plant reward. Oh, that's an interesting one. Where did the game hide my rewards from the exhibition? I can't find it. It's not in the botanical garden either. 
it should be one of those things. Camellia garden, there it is. So we got that actually. And it, it would fit in there, look at that. Oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't know that we had so big ornaments there. Ornaments like this one here. Okay, interesting, for sure. And we can also use, yep, yeah, the first one here, now the yellow lotus as our first item here in the botanical garden. And actually, let's not use it up here. I want to use it here. The first one and the second one here. So that we have the first plots now filled with the first items that we have there. Beautiful. And yeah, hopefully we get those uh, that reward here somehow from the exhibition there. The somehow. Okay, we still need uh, 1,000 more investors, so that's also something I'm going to focus on. That means, yeah, we, we are actually on champagne now, that's good, but steam carriages would be the next one. So we can increase the size of our investor population there. And, yep, yeah, let's also dive at the spot here for the legendary treasure hunt. And that's an alligator. That's the first one, and the second one on... Oh, that's a difficult island to spot, though, since it doesn't have any bigger features. It could be this one here, for all I know. You can also, of course, detect it by looking around it and looking for a spot that is glowing. So it's definitely one of the smaller islands here that we have. Definitely not this one here. This has very distinct features. Yeah, it's probably, actually, it's probably this one here. Something like that. Let's get the salvage over there, and we should get a signal then at some point. Even though I don't see anything glowing here at the moment. Doesn't matter. Alrighty, that's that. Um, we do have enough materials, though, so what I also would like to do is upgrade one of, uh, a few more artisans here. We got way too many artisans. Look at that. 18,000 artisans at the moment and they all want sausage something i just don't have at the moment so while we wait on a bit more here let's have another botanical exhibition and this time we need plantains so bananas in this case for the next one so let's go to the new world we should have that here in marillo probably yes oh only two tons there's nothing here There it is, Bonita Lucia. There we have lots of plantain that we need to get over to Crown, uh, Crown Falls. And something else that we can see right away, because I want to purchase one of those ships here. They've gotten significantly more expensive. This one's costing me now $800,000. Um, it was around 70000 before the patch. So they also increased this, uh, the, the costs for the ships dramatically. Um, in this case, I've got over 160 million, so I don't really care about the money there. But what I can see is that we have independence, the per Perforian warship there ready. So I'm, going to, I'm just going to take this one there as my banana transporter. And this is probably the most intimidating banana transporter that I've ever seen and the world has ever seen. Independence. And... It's not going to be called Independence anymore, but Banana Joe. So Banana Joe is now transporting plantains from Bonita Lucia to Crown Falls. That's exactly what it's going to do. So we get the highest rewards out of our exhibitions there. Meanwhile, in Crown Falls, let's have a look. Where do we have our salvager? There it is. Oh, and we got a signal. We got the signal for the legendary treasure hunt. Let's be on our way. Oh, it's getting closer. I think it's here. There's something glowing there. Yes, that's the spot. So let's also dive down here to find another artifact. Hopefully something rare upwards. Perfect. 
stature of Enisidaone once again and we can also bring this back to crown falls to get more attractiveness out of that no so we are now here. a attractive metropolis very good but we are close to the next rank that's important and this is just looking so good Workforce shortage. we also have too many workers what i can see right now so we definitely should upgrade a few more workers there and why yeah, they're missing a school here. So we probably should have a school somewhere here. Let's see. Let's get rid of... ...of those buildings here. And have a school instead. There's the entrance, and then we kind of like have, yeah, some flower beds around it. In front of the school there. So now we should be able, perfect, to upgrade those workers there too. Let's just upgrade the whole row here to the next stage. Perfect. And also here. And then we have lots of more uh, artisans there. <laughs> 18,000 already, almost. We definitely have to tone that down. And yeah, not, let's not forget about our banana, Joe. And let's get those plantains, that banana, up here. So, 100 tons, perfect. And let's get those 100 tons to Kip Trelawney. Just for that. Perfect. That's that. Everybody's happy. And we also have our new artifacts there. One for the museum. So just beside our temple there, to increase the happiness, very good, very close now. And the other one at the zoo, over here. Oh, we actually got a swordfish there too, pushes us now to beguiling metropolis, very good. And also the alligator here, so two more. In our zoo. Very good. Next up would be the steam carriages. So for that I wanted to... I, I think I do have an item for that. For the steam carriages somewhere. Lurking around. Um, so I don't need the very expensive steam motors. That we actually would need to produce otherwise. So I think it was in the old world somewhere. Somewhere around here. We should have that. Let's have a look at that. So many items here, as you can see. And one of them should actually... Cap assembly line... Nope, it's not this one here. But it's a close one. Or perhaps it's one of those people here, actually. I'm pretty sure it was an item, though. And not a person. So it's one of them. I'm going to find this item and we're going to activate it over there. So I don't need steam motors in Cape Trelawney because they're much too expensive to produce. So we don't want to have that. Alrighty, I'm go going to get the salvager back to Nate for some more treasure hunts later on. And I hope that Banana Joyce is making it on time. Ah, this is going to be a close one though. For the highest rewards here that we need for the botanical gardens there. Very good. Okay, next up would be the zoo. Then we need to, we still need to have some ornaments here around the zoo. So in this case, a hatch probably. Something like that. Might be the best option that we have here around the zoo. As you can see. On this side here. And it's going to close off here. Another corner there and here and also, oops, the end I think is, yeah, here. Very good. And the same thing on the other side. The problem with the other side is though that we don't have it even here. So I'm going to close it off here two times and then continue the hatch here. You'll see what I mean in a second. 
perfect and we're going to close it off it's not a border you know the hatch so it's really just for ornamentation and we're going to close it off here two times just like that it's working looking good too and another close off here very good and two more corners here perfect so that's that and we still have some space here then that we can use for something else but now the zoo is actually surrounded by a hatch and oh this is actually looking much better now so this changes the appearance of that quite a bit I gotta say that oh we missed a corner here very good very good indeed and we still have some room here you know to expand the zoo if we want to but for now what I can also do is we could have some garden benches should we have some garden benches or let's have the fountains around that and then we just have some trees there the temperate growth the one that I like the most Oh, no, it's not looking that bad, you know. I do like the zoo. It's small, but it's it's looking nice and compact. And we still have room here for two more artifacts there for good ones. And yes, also, my Banana Joe, I think, has reached the region. So it should be somewhere here now. There it is, Banana Joe. So let's get those plantains, that banana, here as quickly as possible. Before the exhibition starts. How much more time do we have for that? Surely. Oh, three minutes. It's going to be a close one. Oh, and we also have more farmers here that I also wanted to upgrade, of course. And now we do lack actually a farmer population, so I need to also get more farmers there again. And this is looking red now. Damn it. So let's use some of our influence there for a bit of more happy news for our people. And we still have enough influence there. So what I definitely need to do is I need to stabilize my farmer population. The thing is, I just don't want to see farmers in my crown fall city. It's too pretty for that. I mean, we can still... I guess we can still in uh, put in some more here and here. Yes, this city needs to grow there, this village here on the outer edges. We can have some farmers here, actually. You force my hand. Oh, and Sean has declared war on us again. He likes to do that from time to time. So let's have a look there. What we can do to make him happy again. Probably pay something. Of course, it's bad publicity oh, there. 5,000, that's it. You know, and we are at peace again. So the AI is still kind of broken there in this regards. Perhaps it doesn't even know why he declared war on me in the first place. He was a bit bored, I guess. No problem there. We also got a new expedition, which is an archaeological one. So I'm going to get rid of them right away. We want to get those botanical expeditions. Perfect. There we got a few more farmhouses. No! And the investor is proud. Okay, so we have the exhibition now without bananas. Was banana show? No, it was not on time. It just arrived now. So now we got the bananas here, but it's a bit too late. So we're only getting the flowering brushes this, in this uh, case. But of course, no problem. My engineers are ready actually to upgrade here. I don't want to upgrade all of my engineers here though, you know. I want to have more um, in investors in this area here around the zoo and the botanical gardens, so the, the most good looking area here. So we will need to have a power plant here too. I think we do have enough oil for that. Let's have a look. Yeah, we, we are pretty much capped on oil. And the electrical power plant, we already have the foundation here, so let's just have it 
well, here in this area here, you know, everything here needs electricity anyway. And it's far away from the botanical gardens, so you don't see it right away. So those artisans are going away. And here... It fits in. Perfect. Let's have it here. So we just need to get rid of that street here for now. And have the tracks going over it. On the bright side, it will be oh, he's threatening already. He just wants money, that's all. And look at that, we can also have double crossings now. And here we can have, well, actually, can we move some of my artisans? No, actually, let's just build them here. Two of them. So those are going to be engineers then again. And here we can now have some trees around it, elm trees. So they don't have to see the power plant there. And as you can see now, we have the power plant here, which is going to electrify this whole area here. And then we can upgrade those people here. And we will also need another power plant here for this area here. So let's have a look. I think it's going to be this one there. This one here. This is looking good. Perfect. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's going all the way to the church, uh, to the school. The same with this one here. So this should actually work. Why don't we have any electricity here, though? It ends abruptly in this area there. Will I move it? Or here? Yeah, I probably will have to move it here, though. So we are going to get rid of the power plant there. I'm going to move those artisans over here. No big deal. I'm not going to destroy them. And then we can have the power plant here. Granted, it's not the most pretty thing, but we need the electricity all the way. Perfect, now we have it all the way down there. I don't have any gaps in between. And now it's connected. Perfect. And of course, we also need brick streets here. And sorry, but for building, I really like to have it daytime. So I'm just going to switch it. Since it's that easy, we can just do it. And I just want to pave the streets here as well. Perfect. That's that. And now we have the power plant here too. And around that we can have, well, some more trees. Make it greener, the whole thing. Very good. And now we should have soon electricity in those areas there too. And now we just need to wait for the exhibition rewards before we can continue with the botanical garden there. And perhaps we get even some musical pieces at some point now that we can use there. And other than that, I need to uh, work on the sausages so we get engineers here and then we can upgrade to investors right away. Lots of things to do. Lots of things that need to be done. Stay tuned.